2018. I can't wait to see what God is going to do this year. And I can't wait to see what God is going to do with everybody in this room today. This is your year. God is going to move through you in such a powerful way. It's going to make it's going to make those that hear of it, their ears tingle. San Francisco Bay Church yeah. this year, I believe, with all my heart, Come on, bro. that God is going to take the San Francisco Church to the very next level. Come on, bro. Come on. You know, in order to take it to the next level, we have to learn from the things of the past. We have to grow this year. And, uh, you know, God blessed us in a great way. This calendar year, we had 100 additions in the church. Amen? But we got to be real with each other for a minute here. We also saw 36 people walk away from God. And we saw 12 people walk away from God in Sacramento. And that's not on just one person in the church. That's not just Jason's responsibility to see to it that that does not happen. But that is on all of us to see to it. The title of my charge is, See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. Turn to Hebrews chapter 12. And let's pray. God, I pray that at this time you open up our hearts, you open up our minds to your scriptures, that we let down all of our pride. And we take in your scriptures as you wrote them. Speak to us, God, through your Holy Spirit. Yes. I pray, God, that we will just be your humble servants. We're not worthy. But I pray that, God, through your grace, we can live up to the calling that we have received. Amen. And I pray that, God, we can learn from your scriptures what we need to learn so that we can be better ministers. Yeah. So that no one falls short of the grace of God. Wow. We love you. We thank you. We praise your son's name. Amen. 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 Hebrews 12, 14. Make every effort. We're talking about seeing to it. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Because without holiness, no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one. I love God. He's like, no one. It's not okay that anyone falls short of the grace. He wants everyone to make it. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. And that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. See that no one is sexually immoral or is godless like he saw. Who for a single mill sold his inheritance rights as the oldest son. Afterward, as you know, when he wanted to inherit his blessing, he was rejected. Even though he sought the blessing with tears, he could not change what he had done. Wow. You know, the scriptures call us to have this mentality. See to it. And what does that mean? What does it mean to see to it? You know, it's a phrase that occurs 12 times in the Bible. We see it three times in the Old Testament. We see it nine times in the New Testament. Okay. In the Hebrew, it means to look intently, to give your full attention to something, yeah. to keep watch over, to guard and to observe. Yeah. In the Greek, it means to look upon, to inspect, to oversee, to look after, and to care for. Wow. That's what we're called to do with our ministries. Come on. We're called to see to it. It's a phrase that literally calls every man and every woman in this room, every man or woman of God, to look intently at the ministry that God has given you, the ministry that you've received, that you've been given, and it calls us to give our full attention to it. Wow. And to guard it. And to inspect it. And to care for our ministries. Come on, bro. You take it seriously. As leaders, and this is the leadership of the San Francisco Church. This is the leadership of the San Francisco Church. 
This is the leadership that God has ordained, that God has chosen, handpicked each one of you in the sacramental church. And so we've got to take that seriously. We must leave forcefully. We must leave confidently. We must take responsibility for our ministries. This is your ministry. Your name's on this ministry. How, how important is that to you? The ministry that God has given you, your name is attached to it. How much do you care? God is watching. Wow. God is watching you. I think some of, I've done this. I just I don't take seriously enough the ministry that God has given me to lead. Come on, bro. It doesn't matter at what level you lead. I don't care if you're handling the the the, the, the trays at church, if you're bringing yeah, if you're ushering people sure. in, if you're leading a Bible talk, a house church, a region, a super region, a church. It doesn't matter how much responsibility do you take upon yourself? How much do you really care about what you lead? Luke 16, 10 says, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with Come on, Jeremiah. Man, why am I, how come I'm not rising up? Why, why do I have a lot? Like, well, do you take seriously the little things that God has given you? Because if you do, he promises he'll give you much. If you take responsibility at every level of leadership, and you do the best job that you can, the Bible says, you know, whatever you do, Work out with all your heart. Yeah. Oh, bro. As if you're working for God yeah. and not men. Oh, oh, now, I believe with all my heart, whatever God gives you, whether little or whether much, if you put your whole heart, heart into it, if you take responsibility, if you yes. care for it, if you protect it, if you love it, then God's going to lift you up. Yeah. God oh, sees the heart that we have with the little things. And then he lifts us up to do great things. And I believe everybody in this room is destined to do great things. Oh, destined to do great things. Yeah. And God wants to use you to do great things in 2018. Amen. Wow. You know, the same phrase, see to it, is worded a different way in 1 Peter 5, verse 2. Turn that. Okay. It's actually translated to watch over. But it's still the same, the same Greek phrase, to see to it. To look intently, to give your careful attention to it. As ministers, we've got to pay careful attention to our ministries. In 1 Peter 5, 2. Great bro. He says, the shepherds of God's flock. That is under your care. Watching over them. See to it right there. Not because you must, but because you are willing. That's God wants you to be. Not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve. This is the heart I want to have. Wow. This is the heart that I want to go before God with as a leader. Yeah. I am eager to serve. Not because I'm going to get something out of it. Because I'm called by God. Yeah. Wow. To serve and to love and to take care of His people. God, I believe with all my heart that God has called me to this. And He's called you to this. Come on, Jeremiah. And I am eager and I am willing Come on, to take care of the ministry that God has given me. Come on, Jeremiah. Come on. Come on. Why are you See to it that no one falls short. Of the grace of God. That term falls short. In the Greek, it means to be left behind in a race. Wow. 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 Dang. <laughs> to be left behind in a race. I think some of us are running our race so fast that we don't make sure that we're making and helping other people Amen. make it to the end wow. of the finish line. Wow. The military has a phrase, no man left behind. Yeah. Yeah. No man left behind. We've all heard it before. It's a creed. You know, in their training, U.S. Army Rangers, they have... They have language as part of their creed that says, I will never, and they must learn this language as part of their creed. It is, I will never leave a fallen comrade to fall into the hands of the enemy. Yeah. Wow. And this must be our heart. Wow. Bro. I will never leave a fallen comrade to fall into the hands of the enemy. Wow. I believe so with all my heart, if everyone in this room makes this phrase a conviction, on, a model, a creed for your life, something that you live by, the creed of see to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. If it's engraved on your heart, it's engraved on your mind. Wow. How many less fallaways do we see? Wow. Come on, Jeremiah. Wow. Wow. Open up the Bible. Sit down with someone. Love your brother. 
brother, love your sister. We must all see to it. We must all pay more careful attention. Romans 2, verse 1. We must pay the most careful attention, therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. For since the message spoken through angels was binding, and every violation and disobedience received the just punishment, how shall we escape if we ignore a great salvation? You know, the fact of the matter is, is sometimes people drift. Yeah. Yeah, you see people coming back from the holiday, though, Mike. Yeah. They look like you've seen a ghost. Yeah. I mean, Jason talked about the scene it wasn't so hot last week. Everybody comes back from Christmas and it's like, <laughs> people are dying. I appreciate the leadership of Jason. He pulls everyone together uh, a few nights ago at our staff meeting and everybody's confessing their sins to each other. We spent two hours just confessing our sin and cleaning the inside of the cup. Amen. Amen. Jason cares about a church that is, that is righteous. Oh, yeah. And a leadership that's being righteous. You know, I imitated. I, I said, Tyree, we got to do this in East Bay. Let's get all the campus and singles together. And the very next night, we did the exact same thing. Oh, Everybody got over. That's awesome. Everybody yeah. clean it inside their cup. Yeah. You now, people, they don't fall away in a day. Sometimes you see people, they, they walk away. Most times, people don't walk away in a day. There's a process yeah. of drifting. Wow. And we got, we got to become experts at recognizing the signs of when someone is drifting. Yeah. And all of us are called to have the see to it leadership mentality. I believe with all my heart, as I've said already, this room is the future of the San Francisco church. Wow. The Bible talks, literally the Bible talks that are led by you determine what will happen in 2018. Wow. Acts 20, the church is built house by house. Yeah. Acts 8, the church is often destroyed house by house. Yeah. Another phrase, another place you see this phrase, see to it. Colossians chapter 4, turn that Now I learned something, a little nugget, and something I didn't see before. Colossians 4, 17. I like nuggets. I'm fired up from here. I got my new Bible.
Get the lead in the Lord and serve him. Amen. Amen. I believe that East Bay has a destiny. I believe that East Bay has a purpose. I believe the San Francisco church as a whole has a purpose. Every Bible talk, you have a destiny, something that you, yes. that not just created, but something that God has ordained that you're supposed to do and accomplish. Wow. I believe in the quote Maximus from Gladiator. What we do in life echoes in eternity. What we're doing now echoes in eternity. The San Francisco church is literally changing history. We are literally changing the eternal outcomes of hundreds and someday soon thousands in the Bay Area. Well, that's the truth. Well, when you believe this, it changes the way you lead. I, I, I believe with all my heart I'm called to lead the East Bay. Not just, not just stand in the gap. Not, not just, just do a little something until another leader comes along. I believe I'm called to lead the East Bay. I, I'm called to lead the East Bay to great victory. I'm called to fulfill and to accomplish the task and the ministry Given to me by God. Wow. This is your call for you and your ministry. Come on, to see to it. And to fulfill the task. Who was this archipus? Turn to Philemon 1. Philemon 1. You know, this is the other time that, that archipus is mentioned. Philemon 1. And I looked up a little historical and traditional stuff about archipus. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Philemon 1. In verse 1, can you remember to get there? Amen, bro. Amen, bro. Amen. Paul, a, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our dear friend and fellow worker, also to Aphia, our sister, and to Archippus, our fellow soldier. I love, you know, I used to think it's just written to one person, this letter. He writes it to three people, Philemon, Aphia, and to Archippus. And he says, Archippus, you're my fellow soldier, and to the church that meets in your home. This letter was written to three people. Philemon and Aphia, they're most likely married, and they lived in Colossae. And uh, Archippus was most likely their son. Paul refers to him as a fellow soldier. Historically and traditionally, he was thought to be one of the 72. Wow. Appointed by Jesus himself. Wow. He was also, historically, the first leader and overseer of the Laodicean church. Which was just down the road from Colossae. In fact, it was walking distance from Colossae. And here, commentators believe that he was being spurred on in Colossians 4 to see to it that he really gets in there and leads his ministry. Because what happens if you don't? Turn to Revelation chapter 3. Oh, attention. 
You don't see to it. Pretty soon you're not dealing with sin. Come on, bro. You're not calling your group higher anymore. You don't have great expectations. Before you know it, there's a whole chapter written about you in the Bible. Hung 
up, dragged home by his 11 and 9 year old boys. <laughs>
dealing with sin. The scriptures say that you've got to inquire, that you've got to probe, that you've got to investigate. Yes. This is what it means to see to it in your ministry. You get in there. Yes. You don't assume. Right. Yeah. Don't be naive. Yep. In fact, when someone says I'm doing good all the time, they're not doing good. Yeah. <laughs> Pay some careful attention to your ministry. Right. Investigate. Ask questions. Probe. Dig deep. You know, the Bible says to uh, so that no bitter root grows up. You know, roots are underneath the surface. Right. Roots are, I mean, you don't see the roots. Right. If you pull a weed but don't get the roots, it's coming back. Yeah. I think a lot of times we deal with the thorns, but we don't deal with the roots. Wow. We deal with the thorns. We deal with the outward. We deal with the senses, but you don't get in someone's heart. And you don't deal with the roots. we got to get in there, deal with the roots, investigate, ask questions. Proverbs 20, verse 5 says, The purposes of a man's heart are deep waters. Yeah. But a man of understanding, a wise man, draws them out. We, we've got to see to it that we do this in our ministry. That we get in there, that we don't allow bitterness and contempt to grow up in the church and defile many. you got to sniff it out. Right. And do it. Say something. Don't wait for someone else to say something. Say something. Yeah. If they don't listen, you take someone else. If they don't listen, bring it to Jason or my attention or, or your leader's attention. Let's get in there. Yeah, we can't allow it to defile the church. Amen. Come on, bro. My final passage, Proverbs 27. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. See to it. Let's make 2018 the year that we see to it. Yeah. Come on, bro. We pay careful attention so that no one falls away. For the grace of God. Come on, bro. Proverbs 27, 23. Okay, One of my favorite passages. I have lots of favorite passages. Okay, bro. Proverbs 27, 23. See to it. I believe that we all see to it. If we make this a conviction, a model engraved on our hearts. But we, we will help so many people stay faithful that way, otherwise walk away. Yeah. That we will see God do so many great things in the San Francisco church. That God will move in a powerful way. In verse 23, be sure you know the condition of your flocks. He says, be sure. Don't assume. Be sure. Be sure you know the condition of your flocks. Give careful attention to your herds. For riches do not endure forever. And a crown is not secure for all generations. When the hay is removed and new growth appears and the grass from the hills is gathered in, the lambs will provide you with clothing and the goats with the price of a fill. You will have plenty of goat's milk to feed your family and to nourish your female servants. He says, if you pay careful attention, if you see to it, then whether it's in season or out of season, I believe our ministries will always flourish. If we see to it, I believe our ministry is always first. We'll never fail to bear fruit. So in 2018, let's see to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. And that God continues to make San Francisco Church a great church. And to God be all the glory.